and good morning everybody. Good morning Alice. <laughs> or Alice, whoever. Anyway, spring has arrived. Just in time for the end of the Wetherspoon Spring Beer Festival. Irony there. It's a Saturday, it's the 20th of April 2013 and it's 0645 British summer time. On the way to Newport, finish up the Weatherspoons Beer Festival, maybe pop into the pen and wig for some tiny rebel. Fantastic local craft beer. For all those in America you know what craft beer is. Oh yeah, planting has begun. Nine rows of Desiree and two and a half rows of I can't remember what brand they are, but it's um, red heat treated onions. And if I'm any state when I get back today, the white onions will go in. And I always start these sentences with and, which is wrong. Springtime in Newport. Coffee to start. A coffee number one, I think. Here's a superior coffee. First stop of the day. Well, they have the emergency beer gazebo. See, it's really like. Well, the emergency beer tent is back. I'll just see it up there. The green, big, well, whatever. I'm going to struggle with the pronunciation of this. This is from the Czech Republic. Viva Bohemia. At 4 point something percent alcohol. Probably brewed in the UK. Looks like a sort of golden ale. Anyway, oh, got an emergency breakfast on the way. Hmm, that's quite nice. You can taste. I don't want to say this because it sounds like I know what I'm talking about, but orange peel in it. I'll give that a B plus. We're okay on the extra butter. The tomato seems to be cooked. Chef pint, nice though. It's been a while. Chimay blue label weighing in at a Another hefty 9% alcohol by volume and Belgian Trappist brew. Mmm, well carbonated. Strong. Not much for finish, but. You can feel the alcohol in the back of the throat. Um, more of a winter brew, I would have said. B plus. And I've relocated to the John Wallace Linton. There's some guy riding a bike in the Tom Toyer. Charity, so I coughed up. Anyway, back to the beer fest. Uh, Titanic Brewery. Molly Brown Ale at 4.6% alcohol by volume. Mm. Mm. There's a bit of everything in there, I've got to be honest. There's, um, there's the bitter taste, there's the citrusy hoppy taste, there's... Uh, that's not bad. A little bit more body though, so I'll give it a B plus. Um, um, again, whilst listening to what the tech with Paul Ferrot and Andrew's area, uh, this is from Conway without the A, just across the road from Clanton. No, this is Conway Breweries, and I've forgotten what it's called a Conway Riptide, which is a black IPA, and it does look black. And it weighs in at a very nice 4.3% alcohol by volume due to the tax rate in the UK. And the food safe. Now that is a good IPA. 
quite solid, it's full of body. The dark, burnt, bitter aftertaste. The finish goes quite a long way down the throat. Quite a while. Hats off to the North Walians. That's B. Sadly for sale, but happily for spring. Let's see if we have any time to rubble in there.